Good morning, my sister, my brother, Berta. We're here trusting that you are having a super awesome Tuesday. So this is August the 2nd. Can you imagine we in August? I remember when we just started January and here we are, my sister, my brother. So I was, I was this is, uh, humming a song and it goes like this. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He loves me so. He loves me so, he loves me so, he's so good to me. Isn't that beautiful? As I took my car earlier this morning to get it, um, um, wheel, I didn't get the wheel alignment. I have to do that probably later on this week or maybe next week. But I went ahead and got the tires rotated. I got the oil change and um, for something else. And then to check on the brakes. So I did that already this morning. So as I was looking at the mountains that I've, cause I'm surrounded by mountains at, at the area I was at, at the car, um, my car repair guy, cause he's up here. And uh, it's amazing when you look around the mountains and it's like, my goodness, God is so good. He's so good. And how good he is, he woke you up this morning. He woke me up this morning and he clothed me and you in our right mind. But before we get into the lesson, this is what I want to share with you. It says, say, it state here, God is sovereign. He is Lord of all. He is all powerful in his majestic love for you. He gave you a way to tap into all his power through Jesus. So nothing is too difficult for you if you abide in his strength. So let us go bow for prayer. Our servant Lord. You have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Father God, as we go over this lesson today, Father God, I ask you, Father God, that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so let me put this aside. And my marker fell over the side. So here we go. And this is... Hold on, hold on. The variety in style, variety in style, and then in style. And then we are in the truth about, here we go again, the truth about angels. That's one of the book I finished months and months ago. But we are in, ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. And it says variety in style. It says we have also a more sure words of prophecy where unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place unto the day dawn and the day star arising in your hearts this is coming from second peter chapter 1 verses 19 second peter chapter 1 verses 19 father god i ask you father god that you open our hearts and mind to receive this message today in jesus name amen and amen so my sister and brother, so if you would like to uh, continue supporting my ministry or, and also to purchase my book, you can go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book is bit.ly backslash the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. So variety in style. It says the writers of the Bible has to express their ideas in human language. It was written by human man. These men were inspired of the Holy Spirit because of their imperfections of human understanding of language or the perversity of the human minds uh, ingenuous in evading truth. Many read and understand the Bible to please themselves. It is not that it's difficult in, let me go back, not that, it is not that the difficulty is in the Bible. Opposing political arguments, points of law in the statute book, and in and take opposition, let me say opposite, and take opposite views in their application and in these laws. Let me repeat that. Opposing politicians argue points of law in the statute book and take opposite view in their application in these laws. The scriptures are given unto, let me go back, the scripture were given to man, not in a
a continuous chain of unbroken utterance, but piece by piece through successive generation, as God in his providence saw a fitting opportunity to impress man at the sun-dry time and diverse place. Men wrote as they were moved upon by the Holy Ghost. There is first the bud, then the blossom, and, de and next the fruit. First the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the air. It says here, Mark, and this is coming from Mark uh, chapter 4, verses 28. This is exactly what the Bible utterance are to us. There is not always perfect order or apparent unity in scriptures. The miracles of Christ are not given in exact order, but are given just as the circumstances occur, which called for this divine revealing of the power of Christ. Father God, continue to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. The truth of the Bible are as a pearl hidden. Let me repeat that. The truth of the Bible are as pearl hidden. They must be searched, digged out by painstaking effort. Those who take only a surface view of the scripture will, with their superficial knowledge, which they think is very deep, talk of contradictions of the Bible and questions the authority of scriptures. But those whose heart are in harmony with truth and duty will search the scripture with a heart prepared to receive divine impression. So that concludes my topic, my sister, my brother, variety in style. Okay, so when we read the Bible or are we picking up the book, first of all, we need to be praying and ask for the Holy Spirit to open our hearts and mind to receive that information. Also, when we are opening the Bible, we need to go into the Bible as we are searching for hidden treasures, my sister and brother. So we got to go scripture upon scripture upon scripture to see uh, to see for ourselves whether these things are so. So God said, you, you, he said, try me. He says, try me. So whatever it is that you're having, my sister, or whatever issues you're having, take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. He is open to receive. And I remember, I believe it was last week I said, you know, uh, there's a song we used to sing back in the day, uh, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. And you can call, collect, he will, ex he will accept. Tell him what you want. Call, collect, he'll accept. Tell him what you want. And that, I guess somebody probably need to go and revise that because we don't do collect anymore, you know, because everybody got cell phone. But back in the day, uh, when you didn't have the money or to put in the, in the machine, in the phone thing, you had to either call somebody, collect <laughs> at that point. So my sister and brother, but you got, you got the gist of the, the song, right? So whatever issues you're having, or it could be something you have, you're happy about, and you share, share, share it with the Lord as well, my sister, brother. Yeah, he sees it, he knows it, but it isn't, it isn't like uh, he's your best friend, right? So wouldn't you be sharing everything uh, that's happening in your life with him? And he all, all, all he asks us to just sit down and talk with me, talk with me like you do a friend. It's almost like uh, the Enoch experience, an Enoch walk with God, because everything that he was doing, he was talking to the Lord, talking to the Lord. Well, you know, Lord, you see this, you see this. Well, Lord, you see this. And then he was so, you know, so happy. So we need to have that Enoch experience, my sister, brother, walk with the Lord. And not only did he continue walk with the Lord, but he was such a good friend with the the Lord that he was transported to heaven so he never experienced death and so that will be the 144,000 that will preach the last message and they will not experience death but some of us like Moses will have to die and then Jesus will wake us up so nevertheless whether you on um, the Lord put you to sleep or you are in that 144 number that he that you are speak, um, preaching the last day event and you are and you are um, and Jesus takes you to heaven 
Either way, my sister and brother, let's make sure that you uh, made your calling and election sure, standing on the winning team. From Genesis to Re Revelation, the plan of redemption, my sister and brother, state that Jesus wins in the end. So only you can make that decision whether you're going to be on God's side or Satan's side. And you cannot say, mm, somebody said, well, Brittany, you know what, girl? I'm just sitting on the fence. I'm not quite sure which side because the scripture is not very clear to me. Well, my sister and brother, if you're one of those ones that's sitting there thinking, I don't know which way to turn. I don't know which way, whether I should be on God's side or Satan's side. Well, my sister, you already made the decision to go on Satan's side because as God's children, we have to be always thinking, thinking, thinking. God's children are thinking and they are aware of their surrounded. They are aware of what they put in their body, what they put on their body, what they put in their body, on their body. And they are always searching the scripture. So if you're one of those ones that say, Lord, I really don't know. Well, you know, my sister, but take it to the Lord. He will give you the answer. And if you go out in nature, how could you not know that we have a mighty God, that he sits high, he look low, but he has already dispatched angels to answer our prayer. So we just got to be, when we say things out of our mouth, you know, I think sometimes we say things, but we're not really thinking. We're just you know, we're just talking, talking, talking without really thinking. And I think if us as uh, Christians, if we think more, we'll probably uh, say less. We'll probably will say less. Or will we will really think about what we say before we say. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you for this message, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you did not leave me here by myself, Father God. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. So, Father God, right now, if... I have said or done anything, Father God, was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight. Father God, I ask you that you forgive me, Father God, forgive me. Wash us and make us whiter than snow, Father God. Once you've done that, Father God, we give you permission. We surrender this vessel to you, Father God. Shape us and make us, Father God. Give us the power that we need in this last day to run from sin, Father God. Father God, we need to get to the point that we would rather die than to sin. So, Father God, we ask you for the power and the strength to do that. We thank you for hearing, Father God. We thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so you know the deal. If this was a blessing, I hit the share. Follow me over YouTube. And for those of you that want to support my ministry, to go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book, bit.ly backslash number 15 Compelling Reasons 2022. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let us go ahead and do the four um, hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, one more. Four. It's nothing like a hug. I love you, my sister and brother. And I'm going to start a new series um, right after this. So I believe I'd probably give myself maybe five minutes or 10 minutes, and then I'll go into another topic. So stay tuned. Until then, be blessed and take care.